Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. In today's video, I want to show you how to assemble these fun little baseball hats. Now, these are actual boxes. There's a little thumb hole right in the back, and you can lift them up, and then you can fill them up with candy or little treats, little tiny gifts, whatever you want, and then just give them. This is the number one dad baseball hat, and I've already assembled it. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do the flower one. Um, and this one actually is designed to be cut out of two different colors. So I did this one just kind of playing around with it um, with some printed paper. And I think this is just such a fun, just to make a garden hat or for Mother's Day or a, a birthday, summer day, whatever. And you just pull the lid off again and you've got your little box to fill with treats. So this is the one that we're going to do today. And let me go ahead and show you what comes with the file. I've done a few things already with this just to get it prepared. And really the only thing that you're going to need is some glue and then if you want you can use a tape runner um, but I like the glue the best. So with this you're going to get three layered flowers I have a big white one and then two smaller ones and they have the little circles that go inside. And then you also have another circle that is for the top of your hat. It's this piece right here. So when you cut these out, these two will be the same color. If that's what you choose, you can change it up obviously. The bigger flat or the bigger circle goes in the flower and the smaller circle, the medium circle, goes on the top of your hat, and then the two tiny circles, which are actually in a different color, go on your small flower. So that's your little circles. You'll also have two leaves, a single and a double. You will have, and this, this assembly is also the same assembly as for our number one dad hat. It's just, um, this is all cut from one solid color, and this is two different colors. So you'll have six of these pieces. One of them has a cutout in the back for the back, and that's your thumb hole, and that's also the back of your hat. I went ahead and inked the edges of these already. Um, you can ink them or you can leave them. On this hat, I did. I inked them up because it kind of gave it a little more color to it. On the one that I did with the printed paper, I did not ink them. I just left them. So you'll have six of these. And for the multicolored hat, you'll cut three in your dark color and three in your light color. And I miss missing one. Nope, I'm not. It's right there. Whew, I panicked for a minute. Sorry. There, there. So you have three in your darker and three in your lighter color. You will also have two hat brims, um, and I went ahead and inked the edges of those just a little bit as well. You'll have this piece is the bottom of your actual box, and it has a little cutout so that you'll know that it goes inside the bottom of your box. And then you also have six side pieces. So that's what we're gonna start with first. Is we're going to take our side pieces and we're going to go ahead and turn all of those tabs down towards the desk or away from you. I did not ink these up. You could if you wanted to. I didn't do it just because this is the box or the inside of the hat and you're really not going to see it unless you take that top piece off to access your treats or whatever is in there. I'm just going to go ahead and fold all those down and while we're folding go ahead and take your hat pieces and fold those four tabs down as well on all four or all six of your hat pieces okay now we're going to start to glue so i'm going to start with my side pieces and i'm just going to put some glue on that shorter tab and then line up the next tab you're just gonna line them up right along that score line and hold it for a minute. Now, if you're using tape, a tape runner, this will go a little bit quicker, but I think that it's a lot sturdier if you actually use your glue. 
I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about the paper that I used. So for this hat and the other um, two colored or flowered hat, I used 60 weight paper and that worked really, really good. On the Father's Day hat, the one that, the single color hat, I used 80 weight just because that's what I had. And it worked, but it was a little bit more difficult burnt, um, uh, folding those those hat pieces, the top hat pieces. And so you'll see as we get started, I would not go any heavier than 80 weight. I know a lot of people really like the 100 weight when you're doing boxes and stuff, and I do too. But for this one, because you need it to be a little um, softer, I wouldn't go that far. All right. And the reason that I broke this up into six little tabs instead of doing one solid or um, two solid pieces is so that you can cut this out of letter sized paper if you want to, or if you have even one of the smaller machines, you can do, you can still do this one with those smaller machines. Okay, so once it's all the sides are glued together, we're gonna go ahead and put glue on this last tab and match those up so that it makes like a circle. And actually it's gonna be kind of a hexagon shape. Okay, I'm gonna just set those aside to dry for just a minute while I do my brim piece. Now you'll have two brim pieces. This piece with the little cutouts on the side is actually your top piece. And if you wanted to, you could take like a white pen and draw stitch marks around it. I just inked up the edges and you can do that as well. For this piece, I am gonna use my tape runner just cause it's quicker. And we're gonna match up those um, flat edges just like that. And there is your brim piece. Okay, oh, sorry, I got something in my eye. Now we're gonna come back to our um, box and I'm gonna fold all those tabs down and I'm gonna flip it over. The next thing you're gonna do is take your base piece and it will have the little cutout in it and we're gonna just put glue all the way around the edge of that. Oh, my eye is just watering and watering. I hope I can get through this video now that we're halfway done. Okay, so we're gonna just take the glue side and put it inside that, hat, that box and press it down really good. And then flip it over and any sides that didn't um, adhere very well, you're gonna do that, you're gonna add the glue to it again. So this is why I use a little plastic cover on my table when I do these, is because I'm kind of messy and I tend to get glue on my desk. And so if I put these little plastic covers over, it really does help. Okay, so we're just gonna keep doing that. Make sure that all the little edges are Fold it down. Oh, got a fold in it. Okay, and then once that's down and the, those edges are pretty um, glued down, we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna put glue all the way around the box. Now where this little cutout is, that was actually designed to go on this flat edge, just like that. It doesn't really matter because they're all the same size, um, but I just like to put that one there. Um, it just lines it up really nice. So we're gonna put glue all around the edge. And kind of in the middle there. I need to take that cap off. All right, then we're going to just line that up right like that and press it down. 
So there is the box portion or the brim portion of your hat. So far, pretty easy, right? The hardest part are these um, side pieces of your hat. And they're not hard, they just are a little bit tricky. So this, um, the easiest way to do it is I'm gonna start with um, the lighter color and I'm gonna put, excuse me, I'm gonna put glue on this tab right here, on the big tab. Then I'm gonna grab the next piece. This one is the darker color. And just make sure that those two pieces are adhered. Don't worry about these, these three up here. Let's just concentrate on getting those down. And make sure that you've got a really good firm adhesion. And we're just gonna work around the hat. I'm gonna take this little thing off because it's in the way. Okay, next up is this one. And again, just line up the edge of one hat along this one hat piece along the score line. So line this up right up next to the score line. Make sure you get a good adhesion. Now we're gonna go a darker one again. And you could actually even do this with six different colors or you know what, you could do the red and the yellow with the little helicopter thing on there. Maybe I'll make one of those as well. We'll see. Lots of ideas. I'm just gonna keep working around that. You'll notice this 65 paper is uh, 65 pound paper is working great. And on this one. Just let that dry. Okay, so once you get all of those on there and it looks like that, let's go ahead and finish it off by putting some glue on this last tab bringing this one around so that you're kind of making a tube or a circle or again a hexagon is actually the shape it is. Okay, now we're going to start with these tabs and I always, this was the last one I glued so I'm going to start right up here so that this one has a chance to dry really well while I work my way around. So we're gonna go ahead and put glue on all three of these tabs. And then we're just gonna kind of bend it and match those up. And hold it and let it dry really well. So you can see why using the glue works a little bit better than maybe the tape runner would because those tabs might tend to pop open if you're using your tape runner. Okay. And we're just gonna keep working that until it's nice and adhered. I've got ink or something on my fingers and now I'm picking it up. Okay, let's try that one again. I was rubbing my eye, maybe it's makeup that I've got and it's... This is gonna take the longest on your hat but it's not hard. You just have to be a little bit patient with it. Yeah, I really am. I'm picking up, getting makeup on there. <laughs> That's a good thing this piece is for the back. Okay, then we're just gonna keep working around, doing the same thing. And you wanna make sure that it dries in between the two or the you wanna make sure that the hat piece is dry as you work around. So I'm kind of going a little bit fast just so that this video isn't super long. But you're gonna to want to hold that and make sure that it's really good and dry and you get a good adhesion. And this rounded piece right here where it kind of curves is why you don't want to use the heavier paper because it just doesn't curve quite as well. It's not quite as relaxed.
such a fun little hat. Oh, these would be so fun for like, I'm thinking like a bridal shower for, you know, that Tom girl, Tom, tomboy, whatever they're called. <laughs> or, um, you know, baseball teams, softball teams, little league teams. These would just be fun. Garden hats. Um, so, so many uses for these. And as you start moving around, you're going to want to spread out your hat a little bit so that it's not square and it's keeping that round shape. And if you get a little hole up here, that's okay. That's why we've got that, um, it's supposed to be a button, but that circle that's going to cover up that hole. Your last piece is kind of the tricky one. So you want to make sure these others are, are um, good and stuck. And then we're going to kind of fold those way down in there. Put your glue on there. Wrap it around. And then once that's dry, we're going to tuck those other tabs in and glue it from the inside. But let's make sure that these are nice and stuck. Okay, so stick that one down in there. And then we're gonna flip it over. And we're, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but we're gonna put glue on those tabs from the inside. And I'm having a hard time seeing around the camera stand, but. And then just push them together. Make sure on the outside that everything's looking good. And it is. And we're just gonna let that dry for just a minute. And you do wanna make sure that this is really dry before you put it on your box, otherwise it's gonna stick to your box. And yes, I learned that from experience. Okay, I'm hurrying a little bit. Go a little bit slow, make sure that those seams are all nice and, and together and then we're going to go ahead and put this on there ignore my mascara makeup marks go ahead and put that on your box and then you'll have this little dot this is your medium sized circle remember and we're going to go ahead and glue it on the top and it will just cover up that hole and give it a finished look and again, if you wanted to, you could take a white pen or a black pen and draw some stitch marks on those individual pieces. If you were going to do that, I would suggest you do it before you assemble your box. Um, I've got one piece that's poking up there and it's because I didn't let it dry really well before I started put, messing with it. And I'm not gonna mess with it on this video because there we go. Okay, so we're going to put that on there. And now we can decorate it with our flowers. So when I did my flowers, I started with my um, big flower. I just put some glue in the middle and I did kind of turn these leaves up on the big flower with my thumb and finger. That's completely up to you. Depends on what look you want. And then I'm going to take my double leaf and I'm just going to put some glue kind of on the bottom of it and slide it right under there. Hold it for just a second. Let's do the same with our smaller leaf. Let's just slide it over here on this side. And then we can add our two tiny flowers wherever you want to add them. I think I'll do one right up there. And one right there. Oh, and something out. See, I should <laughs> I messed up. So there's the back of my hat. Yep, 
there's the back of my hat. So I want my flowers, <laughs> this time they're on the side. I actually want them on the front. So I'm gonna try and move those over or not. They're gonna stay on the side, but they would normally go on the front of your hat, like this one. Of course, because I'm doing it on a video, I messed it up. That's just how it goes. But anyway, that is all there is to these fun little baseball hats. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.